YouTube fans, welcome back to another edition of WWE Rant with me, you know, Emily. Um, so yeah, I have a lot to talk about. Really a lot to talk about. The mix match challenge. Tonight is evolution evolution. Tonight is the Mayan Classic again. And tonight is NXT. So hopefully when this is uploaded and edited, it's before that. And if it's not before that, it's probably after this, but hopefully it is before. But I want to tell you guys my thoughts on what has been happening this week, literally on Raw and SmackDown, and about what they've released, like what WWE has been releasing lately, about the Mixed Match Challenge, and my opinions on everything, so literally, let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is Raw, of course, because that's the first thing to start off with. Honestly, y'all people, oh, y'all fake wrestling fans, I'm not saying this. It's a lot of y'all don't even no, I don't know, but I'm not saying it's the whole fucking wrestling community. I'm just saying there's fake fans out there who believe that Raw was good this week, and then there's the real fans who are just like the only thing good about Raw was the promo between Shawn Michaels and Undertaker, and that's the truth. And to me, literally after Raw, I look on Instagram and all I see was. Oh my god, Raw was so great, this, this, and that, da, 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 da. No, it wasn't. It was not fucking great. It was shit. It was honestly shit. And I don't care. Literally, the only best thing about it was the Legends. That is sad. What the fuck are you doing there to be? The fact that the Legends are the best things that happened that night is crazy. And all you guys are probably going to be like, what about the Shield? What about the the guy roster, the, ma the men roster coming out and beating up the shield this isn't that honestly i found that fucking retarded too get arrested in the beginning of the show to come back of course at the main event fucking obvious obvious the moment they did that fucking tackle shit whatever the fuck they do in wwe i was like they're gonna get arrested come back in the main event it's obvious wwe obvious honestly why make shit obvious you should learn i literally thought i literally thought that since All In happened, on All In, yes, guys, I watched All In, and I know I should review it, but guys, it's too beautiful to talk about. It's, it's too beautiful. I, I just, no. <laughs> I just don't want to talk about it. It's just that beautiful. Honestly, I literally thought WWE would look at All In and be like, oh, shit, we need to step up our game a little bit, but they didn't. They literally fucked up even more, and it's like, damn, man, and then it's, it's, I'm, it's just being disappointing, like, really disappointing like and it's true what cody Rhodes said no man no company nothing is pro wrestling we as fans we as real wrestlers are pro wrestling and it it's true it really is true vince is not pro wrestling deal vince doesn't even call his workers wrestlers he calls them superstars so he can't complain he cannot complain he cannot say that cody Rhodes. Um, said shit on All In when he didn't. He didn't call out Vince. He didn't. Well, he, he kind of. Well, he didn't really call out Vince like that. But he pointed out like, you don't own pro wrestling. We do. That's basically what he basically said. And it's true. You don't own pro wrestling, Vince McMahon. Calm the fuck down. Stop getting whatever into a bunch and keep sucking Roman Reigns' dick or whatever. And look what's happening. And Indies. Like, I'm, if I was to run a company as big as WWE, like a wrestling promotion as big as WWE, I would look at indie scenes and be like, oh my god, this is what they're doing, maybe we should do this, but up it up a little bit more. Be a, like, not competition, but like, be like what fans like. Like, it's true, like, I feel like WWE shouldn't be listening to the creative team, like, they should be listening to their own staff, to their own superstars, to their own wrestlers. Because honestly, that's why they're there. That's why they're there to get paid. They're there to put on a show for their fans. But WWE is too busy with storylines. With like, like I said, with creative teams. Like, why do you need a creative team when in ECW everybody had opinions on their own? I know it's I know ECW and WWE is different, but 
I'm just like saying like ECW Paul I get Paul Heyman yes Paul Heyman went it yes we know but WWE should look back at that and be like oh shit if Paul Heyman had all these guys be their own creative freedom and like they really told Paul Heyman like oh does this sound like a good idea and Paul be like maybe you should switch it up like this boom better see and honestly they WWE, uh, I would okay. Yes, I am training, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, all of, yeah, I'm doing, yes. And one day I would love to go to WWE, that's my dream, yes. But if I can't have my creative freedom like I want to, then why would I join a company that I can't be myself in, you feel me? Why would I, it's like, like that's why I feel so bad for AJ Styles and Finn Balor and Daniel Bryan and all these guys who came up from indies, like, it's depressing like it really is depressing seeing these stars being treated like they're not stars like it's just it's just really disappointing the fact that new japan is still showing interest in shishuki nakamura is fucking amazing because i already know when his contract is up he's going straight back to new japan and honestly i wouldn't blame him i wouldn't blame if aj left again after if, i wouldn't blame aj if he left to tna or back to new japan i want to blame Finn Balor, if they left, I wouldn't blame um, Carl Anderson and what I forgot his other tag team partner, but I wouldn't blame any of these people leaving the company after their contract is done. I really wouldn't blame them for the simple fact because WWE, like I said, doesn't give creative freedom. And why you think the Young Bucks, Cody Rhodes, all these amazing, Kenny Omega, all these amazing indie wrestlers do not want to go to WWE. And Cody Rhodes especially doesn't want to go back to WWE for the simple fact that they don't give him his last name, which is fucking stupid. Ugh. They literally are not giving him the Rhodes name, even though it's his fucking name. Is that, that, who the fuck does that? But you know who does that? WWE fucking does that. They trademark it before he could even trademark it. And they're like, nope, you can't use it. That's our name now. When that's his birth name. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking kidding me? That's like using... That's like me using my real name to the ring. And then they're like, Oh, no, we're going to trademark it so you can't use it. I can't use my real name. I can't use my birth name. Fuck you. Fuck you, WB. Fuck you. Like, that... Who, who does that? You know damn well... If, like, I know damn well if Dusty Rhodes was still alive, he would have smacked Vince McMahon in the fucking face. He would have been like, Why are you treating my son like this? Why are you... Like, why? And I just love how Cody Rhodes planned the whole all-in pay-per-view. It's fucking beautiful. And honestly, I haven't been that excited and that happy to see a big wrestling event like that in forever. And the fact that they sold out in like 30 minutes is completely mind-blowing. And honestly, I can't wait if Cody Rhodes does an all-in too. If he does, oh yes, I can't fucking wait. I would love to go to see this. And... To be honest, that is wrestling. What Cody Rhodes is doing, he can, should keep doing it. Honestly, him, the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, Rey Mysterio, all these indie wrestlers. I don't know if you guys are going to be like, someone's going to end up coming and be like, Rey Mysterio isn't really an indie wrestler. Well, he's in the indies right now, isn't he? So, yes, he is. Um, if he's not in WWE, if he's not on TNA, if he's not on Ring of Honor, then... I don't know why some people consider Ring of Honor an indie, even though it's not as huge as WWE. Yes, I get it, but I th I still consider that like a program, like a TV program. Like you watch it, and it's like beautiful wrestling. See, I don't watch TNA like that, so I really don't know that whatever of it. But I do watch Ring of Honor. I do watch WWE, so I can really judge those. And honestly, Ring of Honor is perfectly fine it's just wwe it needs to understand that it needs to realize and look at these indie people and be like oh shit if we don't step up we might lose all these people and if we don't give them creative freedom we probably won't get any new people i the day the day i ever get a call from hunter or vince or even stephanie mcmahon i'm gonna be like do I get creative freedom? Do I get to do what I feel like my character should do? No. I buy. I'm not going to accept the offer. I don't care how much money they try to give me. I don't care. They'd be like, oh, but you can have this. You could get this. We'll give you all this. But you won't have creative freedom. 
No, nah, I don't care if you hand me this, this, and I don't care if you give me a title opportunity. I don't care if you make me undefeated. I don't give a fuck. As long as I have my creative freedom, that's all I care about. Just for the simple fact, because I already have a mindset and how my gimmick and everything is going to be. I already know how she's going to act, this, this, and that. And I honestly don't want WWE to fuck that up for me. For the sim like, I just... I just know my way of presenting my persona would be so much better to the world than somebody else trying to control my persona and putting it out there. So I rather have myself control my persona than anybody else trying to control it. So yeah, moving on. So damn, I talked about it all for 10 minutes and all in. Wow, okay. But moving on to SmackDown. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is what I saw on Instagram, which is pretty upsetting because... SmackDown is the best thing happening right now, and you fake fans out there rather go see Raw because of Roman fucking Reigns and The Shield instead of SmackDown. So, I'm going to show y'all something that pretty much shocked me because it's SmackDown. What the fuck are y'all doing? This just, you guys are just proving Vince right. You guys are literally proving Vince right for the simple fact why Vince doesn't care for SmackDown, and it pisses me off because... If WWE does do right with me, I would love to debut on SmackDown. I don't want to go to Raw. I hate Raw. I don't want to go to SmackDown because SmackDown had The Undertaker, it had Eddie Guerrero, it had Kurt Angle, it had John Cena. This is not, and they're like, well, they went to Raw as well. Yeah, but they were the best. They were on SmackDown. So this is why I like SmackDown way better. And plus, Cesario um, from Sheamus, and, yeah, you guys may know. Um, he said that SmackDown's way better anyway because they give more creative freedom. And I'm like, okay, beautiful. This is why I love SmackDown because, first of all, we have a great general manager right now, Paige. We have awesome, we have an awesome roster. Don't even get me started about the roster. And uh, it's just been beautiful and beautiful week by week. And the rivalries, the segments, the promos, everything is just, it's, oh my God. But yes, I'm going to show you guys this, and it's very disappointing. If you guys can't really see, this is a SmackDown show. Oh, fuck. Hey, you guys see my Instagram, right? Follow me, Emmy, that Versace. It'll be in the description box below. But it's basically, I'm going to describe the picture. It's basically, okay, so the KR man, and this is doing Samoa Joe's promo. Well, like when he was in the ring before AJ Styles came to beat him up. Um, He was standing in the ring, you know how the camera... The way the camera was facing, literally behind the cameraman, was all empty. All fucking empty. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? SmackDown is way better than Raw, and you guys don't fucking get it. Don't get it. Why? I, can someone please tell me why you guys think Raw is better than SmackDown? Please tell me. I... Please tell me. Literally, please tell me why today in 2018 Raw is better than SmackDown. Please someone tell me because honestly, I don't fucking see it. Raw is literally going down the fucking drain. It's literally shit right now. And SmackDown is actually rising up and giving what the fans want. And honestly, I don't know who the fuck is running SmackDown, but beautiful job. 205 Live beautiful job and it bothers me that people don't give a fuck about 205 live like what are y'all doing i get it's cruiserweights like of course like i i still don't get why cruiserweights are separate from the main roster because I, I just don't get it but um 205 live is literally the best thing ever like with what with i was gonna say before with smackdown um so can, yeah, I just want someone to answer my question. Like, what do you guys see that I don't see? Because, honestly, I don't see what most of you people see. Or what you fake fans see. Because Raw was shit. Raw was booty. Raw? Was a f Where's Kurt Angle, honestly? And, yes, of... Oh, my God. Don't even get me started on the 